Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl V here and I am back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Ivue and this is Growing with Ivue. So today I am filming a video. Basically, it's about pharmacy as a career. Since it's the September, it's the pharmacy month. So I, I thought maybe, okay, let me just do it. Okay, right. So... I'll be like there are many things that I've been talking about, but they are actually based on pharmacy as a career. Um, I'm gonna be telling you guys the subjects that you need to do in order for you to study pharmacy at any university and the requirements. But the requirements they differ from university to university. So I'll be like I'll focus more on Rhodes University requirements because that's why I'm studying pharmacy. Yeah. For those of you who do not know, I am studying pharmacy at Rhodes University. <clears throat> so yeah so guys yeah i'm i'm gonna be telling you that and also why did i choose to study pharmacy because yeah i'm gonna be telling you guys so without me wasting any more time let's get straight into the video number one it's about the the subjects that you need in order for you to study pharmacy at any university i'm sure at any south african university you need these subjects so you need to major in physical sciences, you need to major in life sciences, you need to major in mathematics, yeah. Then Angitimosi, in high school, you have to major in four subjects and then you can choose the fourth one. Like it can be whatever subject. Like I did geography, some did agricultural sciences, some did, what did they do? Accounting, yeah. Some did accounting. So, but the three major ones are Life sciences, physical sciences, and mathematics. <laughs> mathematics, you Jesus. All right. So moving on to the university requirements, as I have already told you, the requirements they differ from university to university. So each and every university they've got their own way of calculating the APS score. So I'll be focusing more on the Rhodes University requirements because that's where I'm studying pharmacy. For those of you who do not know, I'm studying pharmacy at Rhodes University. Okay, so in order for you to be accepted as a pharmacy student at Rhodes University, you must have 45 points and above. So they have different way of calculating the APS score. So if let's say you have 80% in Isikosa and 76% in English. So when you're calculating your APS score, you have to say, 8.0 or you can even say 8 because it makes no difference so 8 plus 7.5 if you have got 75 percent in english so you're just adding those and then you're gonna get your aps so a lot of you may be asking why did i choose to study pharmacy is that something i am enjoying or what so okay first of all i did pharmacy because it deals more about drugs right so i was interested in the drug discovery in the drug composition and the drug synthesis so i was interested in that and also in high school i was i enjoyed chemistry so that's why i thought maybe okay let me just do pharmacy so at rhodes university pharmacy was my first choice and then my second choice was law because like i've always wanted to do law but i'm still gonna do law I'm still gonna do it so i've always wanted to do law so okay yeah so yeah that's why i did uh i chose to do pharmacy another reason why i chose to do pharmacy it's because it deals with the human body and also it deals with helping people and i am that one person who enjoys helping people so that's why i also did pharmacy those of you who know me i enjoy like i do like helping people i like working with people i like dealing with people so that's why i chose Pharmacy. The last thing that you should know if you want to study pharmacy is how many years does it take to complete your degree? So it takes four years to complete your degree, but you can do your PhD, your my what what, your my what what. So that's up to you. Yeah, guys, that's the end of this video, and I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more lit content from me. Bye.